Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of x plus the square root of minus x, this is equal to 2. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have the square root of x plus the square root of minus x, this is equal to, to 2. So the first step is to take the square root of minus x on the right hand side, so that now we have the square root of x. This is equal to 2, subtract the square root of minus x. The next step is to square on both sides. So let's square on both sides from here, so that now the square root of x here simplifies, so that we have x is equal to 2 minus square root of minus x raised to the power of 2. Now we have that 2 minus the square root of minus x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. Now applying this algebraic identity, then we have x is equal to 2 squared, which is 4, then plus the square root of minus x raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2, multiplying by 2, multiplying by square root of minus x. So that now, here we have x is equal to 4. Now, let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that now, we have plus times minus x, which is equal to minus x, then subtract 2 times 2 here, this is 4, square root of minus x. Now, let's take minus x on the left hand side, so that now we have x plus x, this is equal to 4, minus 4, square root of minus x. So that now, here we have x plus x, this is 2x, this is equal to 4 minus 4 square root of minus x. Now, we have that 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2, so that we have 2 into the parentheses, 4 divided by 2, this is 2, minus 4 divided by 2, this is 2 square root of minus x cross the parentheses, so that now, let's divide both signs by 2, so that now, so that now, 2 and 2 here simplifies, so that we have x is equal to, 2 here simplifies, this is equal to 2 minus 2 square root of minus x. Now, the next step from here, Let's take minus 2 square root of minus x on the left hand side and also take x on the right hand side so that now we have 2 square root of minus x. Remember when you take minus 2 square root of minus x on the left hand side, this becomes positive. 2 square root of minus x, this is equal to 2 minus x. Now, the next step from here is to square on both sides, so let's square on both sides from here. And remember 2 multiplying by square root of minus x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a times b raised to the power of n. This means we can separate this by a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Now applying this property, here we have 2 to the power of 2 times the square root of minus x to the power of 2, this is equal to 2 minus x to the power of 2. Now, let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that now we have minus x times 2 squared which is 4, so this is minus 4x, this is equal to 2 minus x to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 
x. So therefore here we have minus 4x, this is equal to 2 squared, which is 4, then plus x squared minus 4x. The next step is that we have minus 4x here, and we have minus 4x here. So this essentially simplifies, so that we have x squared plus 4, this is equal to 0. Now let's take plus 4 on the right hand side, so that we have x squared, this is equal to minus 4. Now to solve for x here, let's introduce a square root sign on both sides, so that we have the square root of x to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 4. Now, let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 4, which can be expressed as the square root of 4 times minus 1. Now, we have that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2, the square root of minus 1, this is i. So we have x is equal to plus or minus 2i. So this implies that x1 is equal to 2i and we have x2 is equal to minus 2i. Now let's verify that x1 which is 2i and x2 which is minus 2i satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we entered the square root of x plus the square root of minus x, this is equal to, to 2. Now let's start with x1 so that we have the square root of 2i plus the square root of minus 2i, this is equal to 2. So the first step from here is to square on both sides, so that now the square root of 2i plus the square root of minus 2i to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab. So let's apply this algebraic identity so that we have the square root of 2i raised to the power of 2, then plus the square root of minus 2i raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 2i times the square root of minus 2i, cross the parentheses. This is supposed to give us a value of 2 squared, which is 4. So let's eliminate the square root sign here. And this means we have 2i. And then eliminate again the square root sign here. This is plus times minus 2i, which is minus 2i, then plus 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 2i times the square root of minus 2i, cross the parentheses. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. So 2i minus 2i, this simplifies, so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of 2i times the square root of minus 2i, cross the parentheses. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. Now the square root of 2i times square root of minus 2i, this is in the form of square root of a times the square root of b, which we can express as the square root of a times b. So here we have 2 into the parentheses. We can express this as a single square root of 2. Now this is 2 times 2, which is 4. Then times i times i, this is i squared then times minus 1, cross the parentheses, this is supposed to give us a value of 4. So we have that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So let's substitute i squared with minus 1, so that we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of 4 times minus 1 times minus 1, cross the parentheses, this is supposed to give us a value of 4. So here we have 2 
multiplying by square root of minus 1 times minus 1 this is 1 times 4 which is 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 4 so therefore we have 2 multiplying by square root of 4 which is 2 this should give us a value of 4 so we have that 2 times 2 this is 4 which is equal to 4 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x1 which is equal to 2i satisfies the equation let's check x2 which is minus 2i from here now let's check x2 which is minus 2i if you recall we have the square root of x plus the square root of minus x this is supposed to give us a value of this is 2 now let's substitute minus 2i so that we have the square root of minus 2i plus the square root of minus into the parentheses this is minus 2i this is equal to 2 now minus times minus 2i this is plus 2i so this is the square root of minus 2i plus the square root of 2i this is equal to 2 so the next step is to square on both sides so that now the square root of minus 2i plus the square root of 2i to the power of 2 this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2 this can be expressed as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a b applying this algebraic identity then we have the square root of minus 2i raised to the power of 2 then plus the square root of 2i raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 into the parenthesis this is the square root of minus 2i times the square root of 2i cross the parenthesis this is supposed to give us a value of 2 squared which is 4 now let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have minus 2i then let's eliminate again here so plus 2i plus 2 into the parenthesis this is the square root of now we have here this is minus 2 times now this is 2 times 2 we can have this as 4 times i times i this is i to the power of 2 then times minus 1 cross the parenthesis this should give us a value of 4 now minus 2i plus 2i this simplifies so that we have 2 into the parenthesis this is the square root of 4 times i squared remember i squared this is equal to minus 1 so we have 4 times minus 1 times minus 1 this should give us a value of 4 so we have 2 multiplied by the square root of minus 1 times minus 1 this is 1 times 4 this is 4 this should give us a value of 4 so we have 2 times square root of 4 this is 2 this should give us a value of 4 so 2 times 2 this is 4 which is equal to 4 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x2 which is minus 2i also satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and country subscribe like this video and country subscribe see you in the next video Bye-bye for now.